Hey everyone, Linus here, and today we're diving into the dark side of Android. We're talking about the potential for your phone to be turned against you, spying on your every move, and how hackers can exploit vulnerabilities to gain access to your most personal data. We're going to be looking at a tool called AndroRat, which is a powerful piece of software that can be used for both good and evil. Our goal here is to raise awareness about the potential dangers lurking in the digital world and empower you with the knowledge to protect yourselves. So buckle up because we're about to take a deep dive into the world of Android hacking, exploring how attackers operate, and most importantly, how you can keep your devices and your data safe. Let's get started. Imagine this. You're going about your day, completely unaware that your phone, the one you rely on for everything, is silently recording your conversations, snapping pictures without your knowledge, and transmitting your every location to some unknown entity. Sounds like something out of a sci-fi thriller, right? Well, the scary truth is this scenario is closer to reality than you might think. With the rise of sophisticated spyware and hacking tools, our smartphones have become potential gateways for malicious actors to invade our privacy. One such tool is AndroRat, a remote access trojan specifically designed to target Android devices. This nasty piece of software can grant hackers full control over your phone turning it into a powerful surveillance tool without you ever suspecting a thing. By understanding how these threats work, we can better equip ourselves to defend against them. Remember, knowledge is power, and in the digital age, that power is more important than ever. So, let's break down how AndroRat operates, and what you can do to stay safe. Let's get started. Now, let's talk about how hackers actually get their hands on your precious data. It's not like they're physically snatching phones from people's hands. Instead, they rely on stealth and deception, often using malicious apps as their weapons of choice. These apps, often disguised as harmless games, productivity tools, or even security software, are designed to slip under your radar and burrow their way into your device. And here's the kicker. You might not even notice a thing. Modern malware is all about being invisible, operating in the background, silently siphoning off your data without raising any red flags. So how do they trick you into installing these digital landmines? Well, that's where social engineering comes in. Hackers are masters of manipulation, crafting convincing phishing emails, setting up fake websites, and even posing as legitimate app developers to lure unsuspecting users into their traps. By understanding the tactics used by these digital con artists, we can become more discerning users, learning to spot the warning signs and protect ourselves from falling victim to their schemes. Remember, knowledge is power, and in the digital age, that power lies in our hands. All right, guys, it's time to get our hands dirty and dive into the technical side of things. For this demonstration, we'll be using Kali Linux, a popular operating system among security researchers. First things first, we need to make sure our Kali system is up to date. We'll do that by firing up the terminal and running the good old and commands. Next up, we'll grab AndroRat from its GitHub repository. Once we have AndroRat downloaded, we'll need to set up a virtual environment. This is like creating a sandbox within our Kali system where we can install the necessary dependencies for AndroRat to run without messing with our main operating system. Finally, before we can unleash the beast, we need to know our attacker machine's IP address. We can find this out by typing in the terminal. And there you have it. We've successfully set up AndroRat in our Kali Linux environment. All right, folks. Now that we have our AndroRat Playground all set up, let's see how this nasty piece of software can be used to create malicious Android applications. With AndroRat at our fingertips, generating a malicious APK file, the installation package for Android apps, is surprisingly easy. But here's where the real trickery comes in. Making these malicious apps look legitimate. Hackers are masters of disguise, and they can easily slap on a convincing icon, say, the Google Play Store logo, or maybe even your favorite game, to fool you into thinking you're installing something harmless. They'll even go the extra mile to create fake app descriptions, complete with glowing reviews and impressive download numbers, all designed to lull you into a false sense of security. Once the malicious APK is ready, it's time to spread the bait. Hackers will often use phishing emails, malicious links on social media, or even set up fake app stores to distribute their creations. To make things even easier, they might host the APK on a local web server, making it easily accessible for download. 
A simple command like can turn any computer into a makeshift server, ready to deliver its payload. By understanding their methods, we can learn to spot the warning signs and avoid falling victim to their schemes. Okay, so we've seen how hackers can create and disguise malicious apps, but now comes the scary part. What can they actually do once these apps are installed on your phone? Well, buckle up, because Androrat gives attackers a terrifying amount of control, essentially turning your device into a digital puppet. Imagine this, you're at home, relaxing on the couch, completely unaware that your phone's camera is silently recording your every move. With a simple command like, attackers can access both your front and rear cameras, capturing photos and videos without you ever knowing. Androrat allows hackers to tap into your phone's microphone using the command, recording every word you say. Attackers can use commands like and to access your entire message history. With a simple command, hackers can pinpoint your exact GPS coordinates, knowing where you are at all times. Attackers can use the command to access anything you've copied, including sensitive information like passwords and credit card numbers. Attackers can even take physical control of your device. A simple command like can trigger your phone's vibration motor, just a little taste of the control they have. By understanding the capabilities of tools like Androrat, we can better equip ourselves to defend against them. Now you might be thinking, okay Linus, this is all pretty terrifying, but surely these hackers need to be physically near me to control my phone, right? Well, I hate to break it to you, but that's not the case. In fact, with the power of the internet, attackers can control devices from anywhere in the world, making physical proximity a thing of the past. One of the tools that makes this remote control possible is Ungrok. Now, Ungrok is a fantastic tool for developers, allowing them to create secure tunnels to their local servers. But in the wrong hands, it can also be used to create a backdoor into your device. Imagine this. An attacker creates a malicious app and embeds it with a special piece of code that connects to their Ungrok server. Once you install that app, boom, you've essentially given them a secret passageway into your phone. With Ungrok, they can generate a unique URL that, when accessed, creates a direct connection to your device. So how do they actually build this internet-accessible malware? Well, with Androrat, it's as simple as running a single command. By understanding the tools and techniques used by these attackers, we can better protect ourselves from becoming victims. Okay, I know we've covered a lot of scary stuff today, but don't worry, it's not all doom and gloom. Now that you understand the threats, Let's talk about how you can protect yourself and your precious data from these digital predators. First and foremost, always, and I mean always, download apps from official sources like the Google Play Store. Pay close attention to app permissions. Before you hit that install button, take a moment to review what access the app is requesting. Be wary of suspicious links. If you receive an email, text message, or social media message with a link that seems too good to be true, it probably is. Software updates often include crucial security patches that fix vulnerabilities hackers could exploit. Consider installing a reputable mobile security app. For those extra-sensitive apps, like your banking app or password manager, consider using app lockers or secure folders. Well, there you have it, folks. We've journeyed into the dark side of Android, exploring the terrifying capabilities of Androrat and how easily our smartphones can be turned against us. But remember, knowledge is power, and by understanding these threats, we're better equipped to defend ourselves. Androrat serves as a stark reminder that in our increasingly digital world, cybersecurity is not something we can afford to ignore. It's not just about protecting our devices. It's about protecting our privacy, our identities, and our very way of life. So what can you do? Be vigilant, be informed, and take the necessary steps to secure your digital life. Remember, the best defense is a good offense, and in the world of cybersecurity, knowledge is your most powerful weapon. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more informative content, and most importantly, share this video with your friends and family. Let's spread awareness and work together to create a safer digital world. Until next time, stay safe out there.